I wonder, how many women does it take to get a John Deere lawn tractor hopelessly stuck in the snow? Well, Warden, why don't you explain to the viewers what it is that we're doing? We've been plowing a perimeter path on our property all winter, and that's been working. But we've had like a lot of blowing, and our plow is down right now. Wait. What do you mean the snow plow is down? You give it some power and you go off the snow bank and you kind of land so that the plow kind of traps underneath the machine and basically, yeah, pops off. So Warden, why do we have backup snow removal methods? This is why. <laughs> this can throw a lot of snow. The plan is to bring our snow thrower out there and see if we can get it done. John Deere is a phenomenal piece of equipment for removing snow from your driveway. Every single other time that we have attempted to take this John Deere to throw snow anywhere that's not a driveway, the belt snaps or the belt pops off or it gets stuck. So I just want to say for the record, this is a horrible idea. I give it about a 60% chance of success. Because it is rear wheel drive, it gets stuck very easily. So it's going to be a little bit like a, a Mustang with a snow thrower on the front of it. <laughs> Made it to the end of our path. This is what needs to be plowed over here. You can see that's pretty bad. So last week when we tried to plow this, uh, we broke our plow. <laughs> so this week we're trying to break another piece of snow removal equipment. Turn the chute, it's blowing back at you. Let's see how long until she figures that one out, folks. <laughs> Turn the shoot. Oh God. Here we go. Five seconds in and she's done. Bring in the reinforcements. Oh, that's me. Oh, well that took about two seconds. Literally six feet to get stuck. Oh, jeez. Well, we got the winch hooked up. We're gonna try to pull her out. Okay, forgive the filming here. I got a job to do. Okay, that's not working. We gotta start backing up. Okay, hold on. I think once she gets past the next 20 feet, we'll be okay, but it's a slow go and lots of getting stuck here, as you can see. Yeah. Oh, so it's stuck again. So we're going to try to bring it just around the perimeter and kind of clean things up there. This, this is too much snow. See, what's going on here? Tires keep getting poking through and getting off the ground. The plow is way up here. There's a tiny little slope. It's 
just enough that this rear wheel drive machine just constantly gets stuck. Oh, well, this is about the fifth time we've had to do this. You ready to yank me out again? Yeah, I'm getting tired of backing you up, you know. <laughs> Boy, she's really stuck. Can you help me? Yep. The other path has given us an attitude also. Well, Warden's pulled the plug. Let's hear what she has to say for herself. We need the plow, which actually lowers all the way to ground level and will actually push. It has way more force. So I'm going to need you to stop doing this, back all the way down this path, and fix the plow. <laughs> But let's show them what you accomplished today. Okay. In like an hour and a half. Yeah. It started right here. <laughs> and I'll show you. I can now walk to right here. This is how icy the snow is. Like I'm standing here. But look at the difference in the ground level. Yep. That's so a real, real drive. Just that's tearing why it up. Yep. You're... you're your thrower doesn't get down the ground. Nope. John Deere, you're fired to the driveway. She cuts some mean grass in the summer down this path, though. Believe you me. <laughs> doesn't even get stuck. 